I'm doing something a little different with this video. I'm going to kind of narrate, uh, explain what's going on before I show you the video of, from the Photon, Sightmark Photon. And uh, this video is misting rain. My engine's running. The audio is horrible. I don't know if it's the engine, the alternator, I, I, the radio was on. I had it turned down for these last two shots. I don't know if it, something messed up the audio, but anyway. Check this out and uh, I'll be explaining the rest of the shots before they come on. They're going to back up and use this one. At this clip, I'm shooting at a beaver or a neutral on the run uh, after reviewing the video at home on the computer, looking in the right hand corner of the screen. Looks like he does get away. Uh, this this is the size target we're shooting at. That right there is a European mount of a beaver head. Now that's all you see when it's in the water swimming. But, I mean, you see his eyeballs, and that's your target. And if you're off a little, if the boat moves, you've missed it. There he is. Where? Right there. <laughs> a little warning. <laughs> Are you gonna take another shot? No, safety zone. Oh god. Oh, you may put my suppressor on. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I got a beaver swimming. I've seen he goes past the log or something, and I assume he keeps going to the right. He makes a U-turn, goes to the left. Ken spots him, Ken gets first blood. Uh, I couldn't get any video of it because Ken left his SD card for his DVR. So we didn't get to record it. I did get a little, see a splash on his last shot. I didn't see it whenever, I just saw it when I got home and, and looked over the video. Ken did kill a pig earlier in the day. Uh, so he got first blood on the pigs and first blood on the beaver. I'll roll in some pictures of the beaver and the pig. Of the tree left. Okay. Left at the shores where I just left. Oh, I got him. I got him. You got him? He's behind. There he is. Yep. In that bush? Yep. He's coming. He's moving across the water pretty fast. You got him? Uh uh. We'll take a shot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that stopped him. You're getting a little close to me. I'm gonna take another shot. I, I uh... Right here we got a beaver on the bank. Ken misses it. It goes through the water. I the second shot. I took it out. Uh, come to find out it was a Nutra. I'll put some pictures in of the Nutra. I got him. Is he moving? I think that's second shot. He either hit the bank or the second shot got him. Right here, we've gone to the truck. Uh, I've got again some barns, varmint grenade that I loaded. Uh, he's going to shoot this one on the bank. Uh, pretty explosive shot. Whenever we went and got the ammo, I took an IR off of my 223 and put on his thermal scope only for the reason that I could see where he's pointing. I leave my IR off. I see where he's finding them with the thermal. He does not need an IR. It's just for me to see where his barrel is pointing. One more time. I saw you hit it. Hit it. I saw blood go into the woods. There's a black spot in the woods now. In this clip here, Ken's got the IR on. I have mine off. I'm looking. He, I can't see what he's seeing. Uh, the big advantage to thermal is when they are behind the bushes, you can still see them and you can still kill them. See where my light is? Yeah. Oh, I got you now. I don't see him. 
You might just have to take him in the bushes. Here we go, you ready? I see you right there at the water. Yeah, that was low shot, but he sure disappeared. All right, this clip, Ken spots one with the, the thermal. He's got his IR on. I follow the IR, and I take it out using the Barnes tipped TSX 300 blackout, and take it out. I thought it was a possum or something. If you look, I mean, I'm looking through the scope. The, the screen's about... I don't know, two and a half, three inches. It's a small screen. Anyway, I can't tell what it is. I think it's on land, but I got some pictures at the end. It was standing on top of a log eating, is why I thought it was on the land. And uh, anyway, took it out, got up there, got some pictures of it. He was still moving a little. I kind of hit him high. I should have aimed a little lower, but uh, he was still moving. I took him out when we got there. And pretty good. Uh, if you look real close, I did some slow-mo, you can actually see the bullet, the bullet going. It's not a tracer, it's just a 300 blackout, it's a big bullet, and it's not moving but about 2,000 feet per second. So you can see it, the, the IR hits the back of that bullet, and you can see the flash go by. If y'all enjoyed this style, leave in the comments you did. If you didn't, leave in the comments you didn't. I uh, hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. We're on Instagram. It's on the home page. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, I'm following. Ken's got an IR. Is that it right there on the bank? Uh -huh. Alright, Ken's point. Ken found it with a thermal. Are you. Keep it on? Okay. Oh, right. I'm gonna turn mine on. Okay. It's right there. Alright, I got him. Right there on the bank? Uh huh. That's a possum. <laughs> you got him, whatever it was. All right, that was a. I hope it wasn't a possum. It it's flopping in the water. I can see it. I can't. Here we go. I gotta. We're going after him. We're going after him.